I'm Julian and this is my wife Jen and we're travelers. We've been doing this for about two years and we love it. It all started in our apartment in Minneapolis. Um, it was the middle of winter and we were cold and just kind of feeling like we wanted to go somewhere else. Um, I looked over at Julian and asked him if he wanted to get a truck and a trailer and start traveling and he said yeah. <laughs> so six months later we purchased our trailer and our vehicle and we hit the road. I would say one of the, the biggest reasons we left Minneapolis is we were just feeling stuck in like a, a routine going to the same job. I was working at a restaurant, Jen was working at a... Selling suits. Selling suits. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, we just, we kind of wanted to get out of the cycle and just see and experience fresh things, new people, new places, and, and that's exactly what we've gotten. Downsizing to our 14 foot trailer, it was a difference from where we were living before, but not huge. We lived in a really small apartment, um, so we got rid of furniture, got rid of some clothing, um, which was kind of difficult for me at first. Um, then it started feeling good, just getting down to the bare minimum, um, being able to go from point A to point B with everything we own right here. Um, it's a kind of a freeing feeling, not being so attached. When we first started, we had like a storage thing on top of our vehicle, and we don't have that anymore. We just didn't really need it to hold anything. Um, so we've actually gotten, I guess, we've acquired a few things, um, fire pit, tent, um, just from kind of experiencing and figuring out what we need, but also have gotten rid of some things too. Yeah, but I think the more that we've traveled, it's kind of like slowed us down and we're able to kind of enjoy each spot a little more. Um, yeah, now it's like we need to go back to those places that we sped through because we didn't see everything yeah. or even close. <laughs> yeah. But I think you just kind of have to get it out of your system, like when you're living in a stationary home and you're going on a vacation you're getting to that destination and like the road trip isn't necessarily the biggest part of it but when your life is on wheels like learning to enjoy stopping for a while and just kind of relaxing and we do a lot of like boondock camping where we're not plugged into anything and we don't really have any amenities and just like getting into reading and playing games and like doing more creative things, that's been something I really appreciate in the last couple of years that we just didn't really make time or have time for before. A great thing about traveling is like finding new hobbies and finding things that you like to do. And a fun thing that I've gotten to in, into this summer is stick and poke tattoos. So I, I ordered a kit off of stickandpoketattookit.com and uh, it had like an instruction book in it that was super helpful and like got me started and it's something that I just like fell in love with and I want to I want to keep doing and I hope hopefully I can incorporate that into our traveling um, but yeah it's, it's been a lot of fun and it's it's cool meeting people and sharing that and like putting a mark on them that they love and and uh, I hope to keep doing that what this camper originally was just an enclosed trailer used for hauling tools and things like that. And the guy that we purchased from actually turned it into a camper. So he installed all the cabinets, um, he did the electricity, put insulation on the inside, um, and actually got it converted and registered as a camper. All right, so I'm gonna give you a little rundown of our camper. It's super simple and about as minimalist as you could get with a camper. These are our bicycles and when we're traveling we just put them right inside the camper. Works super well. We don't have to deal with a bike rack or anything on the back of our car. Uh, I don't know if I can say anything about the door. <laughs> super <laughs> simple door, you know. It's got some brand new tires on it. Pretty stoked about that. This is the spare tire. Luckily we've never had to use that. This is my favorite feature of the outside of the camper, the tool chest. We keep uh, everything from our tarp to some Christmas lights, a drill, all sorts of stuff. There's a little, uh, little garden we've started here while we're in Colorado. I would say it's flourishing. For electricity in our camper, we just have a 30 amp plug that comes out, and that's what you know most campsites have, either it's a 30 or a 50 amp, but 30 is, is pretty standard. Um, we do have water that goes into our camper, but then um, 
it goes into a sink that just drains out and the drain actually comes right out here and we've actually never used that because this this seal isn't really good so it kind of leaks and we just you know we just get water from the spigot right outside here or wherever and this is the hitch here this is a little little hitch lock we could we bought at a walmart so nobody can steal it um it's super nice it gives you kind of peace of mind when you leave your trailer if you go you know into a city or something and this is a seven prong plug it goes into the back controls the brake lights reverse lights blinkers on the camper and actually when we got the truck we had to have a seven prong um receptor installed on the truck and that is right here and it's kind of nice it's got this little flap so it keeps any water or anything from getting in there also another security feature that i would suggest is um this hitch bolt has a lock on it and it uses the same key as the the one that goes on the receiver so nobody could could take your hitch off you know while it's it's hooked up and nobody can hook up to the trailer so that's that's nice kind of peace of mind Especially when you have a very small trailer like we do, outdoor time and outdoor space is just as important as inside. Um, so we were camping out in the desert in Tucson and that was really hot. So we decided to get this tent and that's been probably one of the best things we've purchased. Um, we've been at this campsite working this summer, so we've kind of nested a little bit. I put up some curtains, got my tablecloth, um, plants like you saw before so really love this space and uh, it really makes our choices of hanging out a lot more double so now we'll go inside this is MTV crib welcome to my house uh, this is it it's very small and it's not bigger as you're seeing it on screen uh, we've got our dinette here. This is also our bed. Um, we've got a post basically on the bottom of the table. You pull up out from a bracket on the floor. Then you lay your cushions down. You've got a full size bed. It's pretty comfy if I do say so myself. Um, Julian mentioned the, our sink and how we don't really use it. Uh, for me, it's kind of a place to keep the fruit and vegetables. Um, but it's pretty and I kind of like that. Um, Oh, I didn't mention storage, hidden storage. Um, underneath these benches, there's really big storage. That's right where I keep our bedding and some things that we don't use as often because it's not the most convenient space. Um, I have a lot of hats and so I put up this rope with command strips, which are like the best thing in my life living in uh, trying to decorate a camper because they're easy to take down. Um, so yeah, clothespins, hats, I think it looks cool and it's an easy place to keep my stuff. We've got our cupboards up here, um, <clears throat> like bathroom kind of stuff, just like easy to get to. And something I don't like about this camper would be those cupboards, this space, like it's really hard to access. And uh, it's one of those things like you don't really notice until you're living in it. And you're like, why do they do the cupboards like that? But um, we've got all this space down here. This is where we keep like our food pantry items. Um, using these like wire racks is super legit. Gives you a lot more space to stack stuff. Um, again, cupboards above. This is fun. We got these little like tin magnet containers at Ikea and then just put up this little metal board again with command <laughs> strips and uh, yeah it's a nice easy place. We do put those away when we travel because I just don't want to have that happen when have spices everywhere. Um, another utilization of command hooks here. Put this up. Got a few daily things kind of end up piling stuff on there. Um, across on this side, we have microwave and fridge. Yeah, it's a really small fridge. And sometimes I go grocery shopping like twice a week when we're staying in one place for a while. Because <laughs> it doesn't fit a lot. But 
when we're traveling and uh, not hooked up, usually this is just more storage and uh, it takes me a while to readjust to having electricity and like, oh yeah, my refrigerator gets cold. That's right. I can like buy certain things now. <laughs> So this is like a fun idea I saw online. There's lots of cool, you know, information out there. It's like a file folder, but it works super great for the cutting board and like kitchen utensils. This is something that we put in, um, just like sterilites. And, uh, <laughs> oh, you don't say. Um, <laughs> So this it was a full piece, this bench, but because we put these containers in, we ended up cutting it. Um, there's storage in here. We've got like some bins for clothes and stuff down there too. Like I said, I did have trouble getting rid of clothes. And I have way too many shoes for someone who lives in a 14 foot trailer, but that's where we are. So clothes over here and then you can never find enough uses for these shoe storage, um, closet organizing things. It's actually being used for shoes now, but at one point it had like toilet paper and kitchen stuff in there. So that's just all cool. Got our guitar. Um, yeah, pretty much this is our tiny home. I would say my best piece of advice for anybody that wants to do this is kind of trust the world. It's scary going out into areas that you haven't been to before, but there's good people everywhere, like people willing to help you out, give you advice, and everything just kind of flows into the next thing, you know? What you want to see, what you want to do, as long as you're thinking about it in a positive way, like you're gonna find it, or it's gonna find you. And I think that's that's probably been one of the coolest things on this, this trip, is just seeing everything connect and like flow into the next thing, you know? It just starts with a thought and then it happens, you know? I guess one tip um, would be like, all the things you think you're going to need before you hit the road, you probably don't. So hold off on buying all that stuff until you've actually been living a little bit yeah. and, and knowing like, okay, I really don't need like all these kitchen devices or maybe you're super, super into cooking and you do but you find out a lot once you're already in it. Yeah. And it's not what you would expect when you're okay. planning yeah, for Yeah, you it. discover what you need as you start <clears throat> traveling. And there's Walmarts everywhere, so <laughs> don't worry. We're not plugging Walmart. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, so if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more of Jen and Julian's travels and stick and poke tattoos, go ahead and follow them on Instagram. I'll put a couple links below. And uh, yeah, until next time guys. Thank see you, you later. Thanks. Sometimes it's this. Going on the phone. Sometimes we're like day bed. And then we put the <laughs> table down, we put the cushions out, and then we're just like relaxing really chilling, and like yeah. very lounging. I'd say we've gotten very, very comfortable in this little space here. Yeah.